What is going on, guys? Newton here with MMO Play. We're our first look and impressions video into Era of Empire, a free-to-play browser-based MMO RTS. So, um, I guess this is an RTS kind of mixed with, um, I would compare it to the Civilization games, if you guys have played those, like Civ Five and other things like that. It kind of mixes um, the base building, kind of like um, maybe Clash of Clans with um, other aspects of Civ, right in the browser, which uh, makes it really, really interesting, and this game can go extremely in-depth. And I'm pretty impressed for a browser-based game, I must say. So, we have logged into the game, we've selected an empire we wanted to build under, so I selected the Chinese Empire. I feel like Chinese would give me some pretty cool options to build some stuff, and right now we just have a basic um, build going on. We have some huts over here, nothing too special, nothing too fancy, but as you can see, the huts are not too big, they're kind of small. And the game gives you all this space, it, it's extremely expansive on how much you can really create... Um, and expand your empire it really does kind of um fit the name of the game you it's age of empire and you really are gonna feel like you're building an empire the more you expand and keep going on with the game so over here we have some quests in the game these quests will give you some objectives to do and as you complete the objectives you'll get rewards such as resources and other things like that so it's good to keep up with them and do them but you don't have to i don't feel like I don't feel like they have like um, a huge um, necessity or a need to complete them, but there are benefits to doing them. So as you can see here, we have um, our first quest was to build four residential uh, huts or houses, and I did that, so I added uh, four more. It started us off with two, so now as you can see, now I have six. And at the more you build, the more um, your population will go up. So over here, we have 12 out of 30. So um, this is really important as well because you need to um, hit certain population points or standards until you can uh, before you can create bigger and more um, um, resourceful houses or more expensive houses and other things like that so as you can see here we have little huts and I can build a much bigger house or bigger residential area over here but I need to hit um, 15 out of 30 people before I can actually do that so before we can do that and before I can create more some more houses I have to complete this other quest over here, which is telling me to build some roads. So, let's go over here. As you can see, build roads. And basically, this is going to be, um, we can kind of just start creating the layout of our city and start really giving it some shape and get going and kind of give it our own uh, twist. It kind of doesn't, the game really gives you a freedom to build um, and create your town how you want. Extremely early off, I was playing this game for maybe about two minutes and it kind of was just like, all right, here's how you build a house, here's a few other things, and here you are. It kind of just drops you off and lets you do what you want. So let's go ahead and build some roads over here. There we go. It's not too expensive. They cost one gold a piece, so that's pretty cheap. So let's go ahead and keep building the roads. It seems like we can only build two at a time before uh, it kind of goes away. It's a little bit annoying, but no big deal. So let's go ahead and build it all the way down here. We'll kind of make like a like a grid system. Let's go ahead and finish it off. We'll connect these two roads. And there we go. We'll finish these off with huts. And then maybe on this side or something like that, next to the mountains, I'll put um, some higher quality houses. And there we go. So we just completed the quest. And as you can see, for completing them, you obtain rewards and other stuff like that. So let's go ahead and complete them, gather our rewards, and move on to the next chapter. So moving on to the next chapter doesn't really... Um, it provides us with new stuff. But, um, I mean, you don't have to complete all the quests it gives you. To move them on. I think I only completed completed three out of the four. And it moved me on a little bit. So like I said. You don't really have to do these. But it, there's a good incentive. And it does give you some resources to do them. So um, let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and build some more huts over here. And let. Ooh. So we cannot do that until we hit the next chapter. So I guess you do have to do the quest to make progress. So we can move on to the next chapter. Okay. So my bad guys. You do have to do the quests. So. Do follow these. So we're going to build 20 roads now. Okay. We don't really have a town yet, but I guess we can go ahead and keep building these towns. Okay, so we don't really have a town where we can build these roads. So let's go ahead and keep doing that, and hopefully we'll be um, well on our way to keep building the population of our town here. So, ooh. Oh, okay, so I get it. So I guess we don't have to click it just once. We can kind of really expand it. And kind of stretch it out like this. So that's pretty cool. It makes this the job really, really quick. So I like that. There we go. So there we go. We have 8 out of 20 now. Let's go ahead and do it again. 
another one right here. And 20 out of 20, good. So we completed that quest. Now let's check out the next one. So, research tech, water for purification. Alright, so this is where the game kind of starts looking like um, Civ. Like the Civ games, if you guys are familiar with those. We go into tech and we can really like expand and kind of uh, civilize ourselves and uh, look up new technologies, new um, just new skills. As you can see here, we have fishing, livestock, water purification. And you scroll down and it gets pretty expansive and you can learn all these different things. So as you can see, there's quite a few here. So I'm, I forgot what we have to do. Let's go ahead and check it out. Water purification. All right, so let's go ahead and go back. Scroll back up and learn water purification. Okay, click that. We'll hit learn. Um, oh, we can learn from friends as well. So I guess playing with friends has its benefits as well. So that's pretty cool, but we don't have any friends in the game so I just started. So let's go ahead and spend a little extra gold. We'll learn that. And it's going to take about a minute and 30 seconds to learn. Can we accelerate it? Um, oh, we can. And I think we do have the resources. So let's go ahead and use them. It's going to accelerate it. We just completed that really quick. And I think that's kind of where microtransactions come into the game. You can acquire those hourglasses to speed up processes of building and learning different technologies and other stuff like that. But, I mean, you don't have to spend money. But it does give you an incentive to kind of uh, progress a little bit quicker in the game than others. So we researched the water purification. We should be all set with that one. Let's go ahead and move down. And we got to build a well. So let's go ahead and click well. We've got a basic well over here, and I think we'll just put it, hmm, I think we could just put it, like, right here. I think we'll put it, like, in the center of, uh, oh, we can't build there. Okay. Oh, we need a water purification deck. Don't we just get that? Okay, we got to complete it. There we go. Now we have it. Gotcha. So now we can build our well, I believe. We put it there, and we can. All right, so we're making some good progress, so... My bad, guys. I told you early on in the video to, uh, you don't really have to focus on the quest, but it seems like you really do. Um, they're gonna make you progress and kind of go in the right direction of your, of your city and stuff like that. And, um, continue showing you how to build the game. Now, you still have the freedom to build as you want, but it's gonna show you to build different things at different times to kind of really benefit your town overall. So, which isn't bad. I mean, it's alright. You get reward from it anyways, too. And they're really, really simple tasks. But I mean, other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more. But until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.